Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're going to talk about what it's like to buy appliances from Costco. Now recently mom's double oven broke and we needed to find a replacement. She also had a broken dishwasher and she needed a new fridge. So we decided all three of those appliances we would get at Costco. Now I haven't bought appliances for this house since Sears was in business. All of my appliances are Kenmore, which is a great brand back in the day, but obviously Sears was not an option. Now we shop at Costco a lot and I've always been very pleased with the variety of products they have and the quality. And we decided to go with Costco for our appliances because of their warranty. At the time they were having a sale where the more appliances you bought, the more money that you saved. They also deliver, they install, and they take away all that packaging. So you're just left with a nice clean home. Now, what did the process look like for ordering? One day I came over to mom's house with my laptop and we measured each of the spaces that we needed the appliances for because some of these spaces are a little bit different than typical sizes. So we needed an appliance that fit the space. We wanted it to be black and we wanted it to be Whirlpool or GE. And we went with those two brands because the appliance repair guy told us that those were the two brands he recommended. So that's what we went with. When we narrowed it down to all those sizes, we only had like one or two options within each category. So that made it pretty easy to decide uh, what we were getting. And we put that all in and we made the order. When we made the order, it was very clear that the refrigerator and the dishwasher would be installed by the installers. When it came to that, Double oven, there's a great big X. And what that meant was that was not gonna be installed. So we thought, okay, we'll we'll deal with that later. We'll just figure that out as we go. And we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but first, the delivery. So Costco did a great job at communicating the delivery process. They coordinate with a local business here in North Florida to do the delivery, and they did a wonderful job. The first thing that was delivered was the fridge. So they came in that morning, they were a little bit early, which was nice, and they got the old one out and they brought the new one in. And before they started to install that fridge, I asked them to reverse the door. And I was very specific about that because when I had gotten my previous refrigerator, it took three tries, three deliveries of three different fridges to get that door reversed. So I thought it was gonna be a big deal and I wanted to give them plenty of time to you know, work on that. And it was no big deal, they did it with like that. It was super simple and it was really nice. They got it installed into the space and they actually took all of that packing material out of the fridge and it was literally ready for me to just put my stuff in and go. And they took all the trash out and they were done. It was great. They cleaned up. It was super. We also knew that the dishwasher and double oven were going to be delivered about a week later. And again, all the communication was really great from Costco. We got emails, we got some phone calls, we got a very tight delivery window. So we are very confident on when everything would be delivered. So the next delivery, they just brought in the dishwasher and the double oven because Costco also coordinates with an actual dishwasher installer to come later on to install that. And so it was about a couple hours later that they came to install the dishwasher. They got here and took the old one out and took it outside and brought the new one in. And they were like, oh, wait, we can't do this. So apparently when my dishwasher was made, it was hardwired and the new ones just plug in. So they actually had to put in a new outlet for that new dishwasher to be plugged into. Now that was an additional expense. That's not something Costco covers is any electrical stuff. So it was $35 and I said, yeah, do that. So they went ahead and did that. And then in the meantime, one of the workers goes, do you need that installed? Cause the ginormous double oven, and it really is big sitting in the middle of your room. I said, yes, I do need that installed. So he went ahead and got started while his helper was working on finishing the dishwasher. He went ahead and started on the double oven. So he got the double oven out and he's getting ready to put the new one in. He's like, oh, this is not gonna work. This is not gonna fit. <laughs> So I'm just like, Steph, come over, I need your help. So when mom's oven was originally installed, they had to take some framing out to make this that one fit. And obviously the framing that they took out 
we needed to put back in for the new oven to fit. Um, just because it's 27 does not mean it's it exactly it's the not, same. It's not. Um, so uh, we are not cabinet makers. We are not uh, fine woodworkers in any way, shape, or form. But uh, there is a tiny bit of wiggle room within these measurements. And we looked at the install guide for the oven to make sure we get all the measurements right. And we added some framing to the sides and we had to cut out a little piece of the top. And it did take some time. We were uh, trying to get it done about in a day, but there was a lot of stuff that happened in between and some hurricanes. And so <laughs> two hurricanes, uh, right? Yes, two hurricanes here in Florida. So ultimately we got it in and then the installers came back and they were able to get it installed. And now the oven is perfectly in place. And I will say it's, I guess a pretty easy process to put it in place, but it's about 200 pounds. There was no way we were going to be able to do the oven ourselves. And so, um, mom ultimately ended up having to pay them to do the install, all of the, um, install and takeaway for the double oven. And then the little piece for the dishwasher was about $185 that uh, mom had to pay extra on top of the Costco. Really, if we had gotten somewhere else, we would have had to pay for that anyway. So yes, we would have. Yeah. And we didn't have to find someone to install the double oven because Costco had already vetted the people that did the dishwasher. So we felt comfortable hiring them to do it as well. What, what we learned. learned. Now, would we buy appliances from Costco again? Yes. <laughs> and this is actually us buying from them again. So um, a couple weeks before this, my fridge broke and it was going to need a $600 part to fix it. But it was over 10 years old, so I decided to buy a new one. I got it from Costco. And we had a wonderful experience, just like we're sharing today. And that is what kind of pushes over the edge to go ahead and get the three appliances that mom needed. Because it can be daunting. Like, where do I buy my appliances? There's so many places you can. How do you go about it? And um, we've been really happy with Costco for so many things. And we would buy again. And Definitely. we have, and probably again and again. Yes. Back in 2012, I had a very extensive remodel done on my house. No, it was not DIY. I brought in professionals to do it. It was, I mean, it was basically almost every single room in the house was touched. And I did have a kitchen designer come in and design the kitchen that you see behind me. And at the time, I wish I had maybe thought ahead to that refrigerator space because the refrigerator space is built just for a 33 inch wide fridge. And I'm stuck with that. I mean, I can't go more modern. So if you're asking, why did I pick this fridge? Well, it's because I'm constrained to this particular size of refrigerator. And the other thing is, is that double oven. Now that double oven was really, really expensive, way more than you'd probably pay for a combo range oven. And I went with that in the new remodel because I had already purchased that and had been using it for a couple of years. And you know, it's an expensive appliance. I didn't want to just get rid of it. So we designed the kitchen with that oven in mind. Now in hindsight, I wish I had not done that because when you go through get new appliances, there is going to be a variation in size. And there, that obviously was, even though it was 27 inch, it was not a 27 inch box. So there was a um, issue there. So if you're remodeling or building, I would maybe think about those um, built-ins, maybe not do that. Or if you're doing that, maybe go with a size that maybe has been standard for quite a few years, like a dishwasher. Dishwasher, that was super easy. You just buy a dishwasher and it fits the space. Now, there are a couple things that we noticed once we got the appliances, since we couldn't see them in person uh, first. One of the things is there's no light in the freezer, which was just a little odd. Um, Mom was like, oh, it doesn't work. And I was like, there is none. <laughs> um, so we are going to try to see if we can figure out some kind of light that can be frozen um, and still work. So we are looking for that. Um, also, the dishwasher it has a little rack at the very top putting like little spoons and silverware and tongs and things like that which is really nice and then um, also you can adjust the middle rack you can adjust it to go high or lower which is nice if you have different size things uh, below and then we also noticed it was made of stainless steel inside which seems like it will hold up even better over time than the old one did and we realized the inside of the oven is a little bit smaller, so her bigger sheet pan actually won't fit in here. So uh, she gave that to my brother to use for his, um, but that's something she probably would have noticed if she saw it um, in, in person. person yeah. uh, we also knew, noticed that it's a smart oven, which we weren't looking for that, but you know, it was fun. So um, she can actually use her phone to control it, which uh, is super fun. So I can sit on the couch and start the oven. So, yeah. you know, how many times am I gonna use that? <laughs> probably more than she expected. Uh, okay. <laughs> 
So um, thank you for joining us on this video. If you have bought appliances from Costco, let us know or from somewhere else. So thanks for joining. If you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube. Bye.